Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela Braniff, and today I have a massive grocery haul for you. If you're new here, we are a family of 10. We have eight children, and so we buy a lot of groceries. We buy a lot of groceries. We've been working on budgeting our groceries better as well as planning out meals and things. But with everything kind of going on currently with the pandemic and lockdown, it's changed sort of how we grocery shop. And I've mentioned before that we are working on building up our food storage. Um, so there's gonna be a lot more of that content to come. I'm gonna share with you guys kind of how uh, we are building up that supply for our large family. So if you're interested in that type of content, um, be sure to subscribe. I'm also going to be doing some uh, more meal videos, sharing recipes and things that our family loves, large family meal ideas. And really, I mean, they can be for any size family, but it's just things that we happen to really like. So I'll be sharing some more of those as well. So if you are into all the food type content, there's more of that to come. So be sure to subscribe. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the grocery right, Groceries round one this is just Costco so I brought all this home and then I'm gonna go back out to the other store so we got some extra large uh, garbage bags a pack of toilet bowl cleaner because we needed some and it was only $8.99 for four versus what I would pay at Target for four I felt like that was actually a good deal um, I did this is actually from Target um, I did a pickup yesterday and they gave us the wrong size so we had to go back and exchange them for size fives, of which they did not have the 100 count. So this was all that they had in size fives was the overnights and these. So that's what I went with. Uh, we've got some grapes hanging out up here on top. We've got uh, some Tide laundry pods, some more eggs, some more of these panko chicken nuggets, which the kids really like, some loaves of bread and veggie straws. We've got our Kerrygold butter, which is the best butter. Some K-Cups, graham crackers, which are another hit, broccoli florets, a three pack of ketchup, which one has been dropped and that looks kind of gnarly, but it's okay. So it tastes the same on the inside. It's what's on the inside that counts, you know? Got a good personality, this ketchup bottle. This is a thing of Rotel. We use this for the cracked chicken chili recipe, taco soup. Um, so having a number of cans of that on hand, again, as I'm trying to kind of work towards stocking up and having extras. Some Sweet Baby Ray's. That was a good deal at Costco, like $4, I think, for these two. I got some uh, clamshells of strawberries. These are a little smaller than the size that they usually have. Uh, so my kids will probably go through these real fast as well as a thing of the little tomatoes that Miss Ivy loves. And three things of blueberries because everybody loves these. And let me just tell you, put these in the freezer for a little bit and let them get just a little bit, like not totally frozen, but almost totally frozen. Oh, delicious snack. A bag of avocados for me and Benjamin and whoever else wants some, but he and I eat the most avocados. A thing of cucumbers, these three seedless pack of three seedless cucumbers, some more of the mixed vegetables. I did get some string cheese. I haven't been buying string cheese for a while, but I thought I would add that as another optional snack for the kids. And then I got some more uh, mandarin oranges for a snack. Another bag of the little red potatoes. These are my favorite potatoes. Um, some pears for Mr. Christopher, because he loves him some pears. And then I got these to try. It's like the little packets of smoothies, so it comes already like an in individual packets inside of here uh, with blueberries, strawberries, you know, kale, spinach, bananas, all that kind of stuff. So I thought I would try those. I did get the kids some popsicles. These were on sale at Costco as well. So I got two boxes of these Outshine popsicles. Um, and another thing of cheese. We go through cheese. A lot of cheese gets eaten in this house. I got four gallons of milk this time. So hopefully that will last us for a few days at least. Um, and then I did get a big thing of spaghetti. It's four two pound boxes. They usually have a variety with different types, but you know, you gotta get what you can get at the stores right now, particularly at Costco. Uh, and then these were on sale. I don't usually buy go -Gurts, but these were on a pretty good sale. So I decided to buy two boxes of those as an additional snack for the kiddos. And then I got a big thing of ground beef is what's in here. They were limiting meat. Meat was limited to three packs of meat per person. So I got ground beef to add to our stash of ground beef. 
And then I got some chicken breasts as well as some chicken tenderloins. Um, for, you know, boneless, skinless chicken tenderloins as well. So that is what I got for my three things of meat that they would let me get. So I felt like I got a lot of stuff, but now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh man, I really didn't. So I gotta go to the regular grocery store for some more things. I did get the kids. I don't know if you'll be able to see them outside there, but uh, I got them some water guns. They had a pack of Nerf water guns for like 12 or 13 bucks, so I got them those. The Costco order total was $452, I think. Like I said, that includes Nerf guns, which is not part of our like food budget, obviously, as well as toilet bowl cleaner, a giant thing of garbage bags, which I don't usually buy at Costco, or laundry detergent, but I grabbed as a matter of convenience um, and to see, I'm trying to get a grip on how I could do a once a month grocery haul. And I, until I know like how often we're actually going through these things and need to buy them, this is what we got. Now I gotta go to the regular grocery store. All right, so this is the loot from the second store. I just went to Harris Teeter and got a lot of good stuff, not gonna lie. A lot of good stuff. I got some feta. This is for that fetteroni pasta that we make. I got some whipped uh, cream cheese for bagels and whatever else, and just some regular cream cheese. We use that in different recipes and stuff. I got some peppers here. I was just, I had a hankering for grilled peppers and onions. Uh, I had a hankering for certain foods, and it's interesting because no, I found everything I was looking for. All right, so then these little mini pepperonis, this is also for that feta pasta dish. I got some tomatoes here and some mozzarella cheese. I have some balsamic glaze, and you'll see in a second, I got some basil. Um, big thing half and half for Christopher. Couple little, little spritzers, you know? Just a little spritzer. Got a very large thing of ice cream for the kids. That was their request. Now I got some corn. Uh, corn is surprisingly more expensive than I expected it to be, and we don't usually buy it often, but I thought these would be good on the grill, um, and I know the kids like it. And then I got just some crinkle cut carrots. These are for Benji, and these sweet potato straight cut fries. These are also for Benjamin. Um, then some pickles. That's a favorite snack of the kiddos is pickles. And then uh, two bags of broccoli slaw because I saw this and I was craving it when I saw it. I was like, oh, that sounds delicious. So I got some broccoli slaw and some dressing for it. Now, pork is very expensive right now because of the shutdown and the issues in the pork industry. So I got some sausage, breakfast sausage, and some uh, sausage patties. Bacon was out insane. This was $10. <laughs> Uh, this one was $8, and they, eh, just ridiculous, but I went ahead and got bacon, even though it really annoyed me. Um, I got some original oats, these are for Benjamin, and then two boxes of the cinnamon and spice, that is for me and the kids. Uh, we, I love this, but the kids like it too, so that is for us, I just got two boxes of that. And then I got some um, multi-grain waffles. These are for Benjamin to cut into like waffle sticks for him to eat. And these ones are gluten-free. So uh, since he'll be kind of trying these things for the first time, I just wanted to kind of have two options there for him, uh, for his little breakfast options. Yes, I hear you over there. Uh, then we got a big old giant thing of spaghetti sauce. Self-explanatory. Uh, some elbow macaroni. I usually get these things in much larger boxes, but again, I just kind of have to get what is available in the store. Christopher requested bow tie pasta. I'm not sure what he wants to make with this, uh, as well as a penne. These are the greatest gummy bears of all time. I'm just gonna say that, I'm gonna leave that there. If you've never had them, try them. So delicious. I think this somehow made its way back out of the pantry because I didn't buy this. Um, I got a thing of mini pretzels for the twins. They love those. And then some Louisiana sweet tea. Kids like some sweet tea every now and again. And then I got some of these canned things of salmon because my mom used to make salmon patties. Uh, and she would take the canned salmon and then use like a breading on the outside and sort of uh, fry it up basically in a pan and make these salmon patties. And they were so delicious. And I haven't had them in like 20 years and I thought I'm gonna make them for the kids and see if they like them as much as I did when I was a kid. And then I got some extra large black olives. 
These, CR uses these sometimes in different salads that he makes, um, and I like to just eat them straight out of the can, like a bridge troll. Um, and I got, you know, we buy a lot of cans of beans, and so I bought bags of uh, the kidney beans and black beans, and I thought I would try my hand at cooking them myself and see how that goes. Um, you know, first time for everything. Might as well give it a shot, right? I feel like it would be cheaper in the long run. Probably not easier, but we'll see. Some apples, some honey crisp apples. These are CR's favorite. He makes me buy honey crisp every time. The best. Even though they are ridiculously expensive. So two bags of honey crisp. I got a basil plant. I'm just gonna transplant him into something so that he can survive, hopefully. Um, and a thing of garlic. I did not have any ripe bananas or anywhere close, so I got those bananas. Uh, Crispex is the cereal request of the children. I got them some more yum yum sauce. They love this on CR's fried rice and other stuff. So I got yum yum sauce. I got some more honey mustard sauce. And then this just tickled my fancy. I just saw it and I thought, oh, it has like a little bit of like a Chick-fil-A feel slash zesty sauce. You know, I figured I'd give it a whirl on something. Chicken, something, who knows. Let's see what else we got over here. Got some shaving gel, some hairspray, and some deodorant. And on the back of the table, we're coming around the end here, I've got the brioche bread that we use for French toast and a big thing of rice. And then I stopped at the produce stand to see if they had anything that, uh, that I just couldn't resist. And I ended up getting three zucchinis, uh, probably mostly for me and Benjamin. Uh, we are kind of, I don't know if any of the other kids really, it's been a little bit since I've made zucchini, so you know, gotta test it and see if they'll still eat it. I got some limes for some margaritas, a couple of lemons, and then I got a few of these and now I cannot remember what they told me they're called. They are, obviously they look like an orange, but they're not. Uh, I can't remember what she said they are a cross between. It's a cross between an orange and something else, but they look like a sad old man wrinkly orange, but they are not in fact. So I got those, I figured I'd let, I got a few of them for the kids to try and see if they like them. And then I got uh, some red onions and a Vidalia onion. And then I also picked up two mangoes because I was thinking of Uganda and I saw the mangoes and it made me miss Uganda and my friends. <laughs> so I got two mangoes. And then they also have some local made like meat and other products and stuff there. Uh, and I saw this looked quite tasty, this uh, pico. Very fresh looking, delicious looking pico. So I grabbed that as well. So that is everything from the fruit stand or produce stand and Harris Teeter. Okay, so those are the groceries that I got. As you can see, I'm really feeling the like grilling and outdoor stuff. It's been like in the 80s here and sunny. So um, it's that time of year where I feel like everything should be cooked outside and rarely, if ever, should we be cooking anything inside because it gets too hot. So yeah, like I said, we're still working on uh, food storage and kind of coming up with a plan for that. We've got the freezer set up. We're just kind of slowly adding stuff to it. But right now there are still so many limits at the grocery store in terms of like, I can't buy a bunch of extra pasta. I can't buy a bunch of extra meat. Uh, because our family's so large, we use pretty much up to the limit. So if they're like, you can only buy three things of meat, like that's what Costco was today. You could only buy three packages of meat. And so that's pretty much what we need, you know, to feed our family. So there's not a lot of extra. So hopefully once things settle down, uh, we'll be able to start sort of building up our supply. And I'll take you guys through that process of how we're planning on stocking up. Um, I think based on everything, all the research I've done, I think we're gonna look to do like a three month supply of food. Uh, just to have on hand in case of emergency, in case something like this ever happens again and the grocery stores are actually out of things like they have been. Uh, and now as you guys, I don't know if you guys are seeing this in your area, but particularly pork prices and all meat prices, but pork prices really high. Um, so yeah, it's got us, you know, looking at alternatives and looking at things differently. I think we're going to start looking for a local um, farmer and you know butcher where we can get meat uh, we're starting to look more for local produce and things which is great I mean we probably should have been doing that all along but when you have 10 kids and you work or 10 kids I don't have 10 kids do <laughs> when you have eight kids and you work and all of the things we've got going on some things just you know move down the line of priorities into this is more convenient to just 
shop this way. I feel good about the direction that we're moving in and I am excited to share with you guys once we finally get everything sorted out for our food supply and I'll share all of that with you guys as we move along. So be sure to subscribe to my channel if you've not already. That is it for today's video. I hope you'll have a fantastic day and I will see you again very soon. Bye.